Wait, did the room just turn purple? That's definitely not good. I, maybe I should be a higher level before I keep going here. Ladies, gentlemen, and warriors of all ages, Wo Long Fallen Dynasty is officially released and available to the world, and while some of you pros out there are probably decimating it, having no problems at all, the game definitely has some challenge to it for the more average players. It's definitely not necessarily easy by any means compared to your average video game. And as a result, some of you out there may be looking for the easiest ways to increase your power quickly early on. Of course, there is the morale system, where the more you beat up enemies on a specific level, the stronger that you get within that level. But not only does that drop down if you happen to die, but it also resets for each and every new location that you travel to. So it is by no means a permanent source of power. The only real permanent source of power available in the game is leveling up. And like most games that give you level up materials by killing enemies, there is of course ways to game the system just a little bit. This specific guide is going to be focused on the early game where I'll be showing you where and how to farm a gigantic pile of genuine chi in no time at all in the third level of the game, the one right past where the demo ended off. In this level, as you progress through the main path, eventually you will find yourself in a bit of an open area with a raised platform in the middle. Once you go up this raised platform, a big demonic bird will spawn in and start trying to bite your head off. If you're wondering where to find this, it's really not hard to do. You literally cannot progress through the level the whole way without finding this place. This fight is really nasty, as more than likely when you first reach this point, your morale rank will be significantly lower than its, and you will take more damage and deal less damage as a result. Thankfully, there is a battle flag about 10 feet away just across a short little bridge and a gap, and you can also skip this and come back to it later, and there is a shortcut that you open up near the end of the level to come back here. This demon bird is called a Swan Yu, and when you kill it, it has a decently high drop rate of rare armor and weapons, which is useful in itself, but more importantly to our current purpose, it gives you 1800 genuine chi. This is a relatively large amount, pretty much the highest that any enemy will give you up to this point that isn't a straight up boss. As I mentioned earlier, it also has the benefit of being about 10 feet away from a battle flag. Unlike many enemies of this type and size, it also respawns even if you've killed it, thus it has the makings of a beautiful early game chi farm. All you have to do is sit at the battle flag, kill the bird, sit at the flag again to reset, kill the bird again, repeat, no fuss. There are of course ways to make it even easier, and I've gotten my personal kill loop down to around 30 seconds per kill. At 1800 chi per loop, that's upwards of 200,000 chi per hour, which is an incredibly large amount to get this early on in the game, and can set you up beautifully to be big and strong for the next few sections of the game. As for how to make this as efficient as possible, the first step is done before you even do the loop. Simply walk around this level farming morale from random enemies until you hit 25, which is the maximum morale for this area. While it takes a bit of time to get to this point, this makes the actual farm much faster as being at morale rank 25 makes this bird quite a pathetic enemy compared to how it is when you first find it. After resting at the flag, then you want to run quickly around to the left side like this if you are fast enough the bird will not spot you. Then slowly walk up to its side as it patrols past you and you can get a stealthy fatal blow on its wing, opening up the fight with the enemy significantly wounded and lacking a morale rank. Sometimes the random followers that you have with you on this mission will sort of ruin your stealth if you go too close to it, so take a nice long circle around it and give it a wide berth. It doesn't really slow you down that much and it makes sure that you don't have a scuffed attempt. On top of that, if you do enough damage with this opening strike, which you're pretty much guaranteed to do at morale rank 25, the bird will lock itself in its power up animation, which means it won't move or attack for 4 or 5 seconds, which is enough to just about kill it, either with martial arts, attack spam, or wizardry. Even if you don't kill it completely in this opening salvo, it'll be ridiculously low health and weak by the time that it's able to move again, which makes it really easy to finish it off. After that, take a quick trot back over to the battle flag and start again. Simple, right? The most time consuming part of this is getting to morale rank 25, but if this is your first time through the level anyways, the exploration is valuable to do regardless so you can find the items and everything, and obviously being at high morale for the final boss of the level is good regardless, so it isn't even really a waste of time by any means. So again, progress through the level, get yourself to morale rank 25, you'll find a shortcut in the cave near the end of the level leading right back to this flag and to this bird. Quickly run around to get the stealth attack in, and the rest of it is super easy from that point.
that point. This loop is fast and effective, and it is the best way that I have found to farm genuine chi early on in the game, which is a bit of an understatement as that is a lot of chi quite fast and very early on. If you're struggling to beat stuff early, this is a big advantage that you can get over your enemies. I hope this helps you all out then, it's really simple to pull it off and extremely lucrative to actually do on repeat. In the coming days we'll be going over later game chi farms as well, ways to farm even more chi in even less time by using enemies on levels that are just further into the game. So of course keep an eye out for that and let us know if there's anything else you want to see from this game. Mechanics explained, things farmed, whatever you want to enhance your own journey through Wo Long Fallen Dynasty. I hope this farming spot helps you out, and of course I hope you enjoy your continued time with this wonderful game. Like if you like the video, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more, and most importantly ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay sweet. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world our stage Is, uh, goodbye